Hey, what's up guys? It's T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Legendary Game of Heroes. So in today's episode, what I want to cover is ultimate bosses and also how you can take it out at a high level. Now, unfortunately, this boss can only be taken out if you have the full team, including the ultimate form. But even with the full team, you still need to have the right team composition in order to take it down. So I wanted to give a few tips around doing that. So with this particular deck, it's actually relatively easy to deal with the first few levels of ultimate bosses, but then the health and also their damage increases dramatically over time. And so at some point you do need to take care of your health and that's where Wicked Queen comes in. She's really, really good for uh, this purpose. And then the remainder of the deck, I have the ultimate form and also the master collection card followed by a soul reaper in hell. Now I do want to say thanks to my guildmates who helped me out because I was pretty lucky with my rune pulls but then I was missing the one for my master collection card and they, they gave me a free uh, rune gift that allowed me to uh, get the missing one I was able to craft the ultimate form so I was really really thankful for that so anyways so let's take a look at the battle and I'm going to explain now that we've taken a look at the deck here and also how to play so that you can maximize your uh, your potential to take down the ultimate bosses so now dealing with a ultimate boss, there's a few things you have to consider. The, the first thing is the fact that it only has five, you only have five minutes to try and take down a boss with enormous health, in this case, 107 trillion at level 14. And the second thing is also the boss will start dealing uh, a lot of damage at about uh, it's at least 100,000, uh, more than 100,000 at this level. And so having the Wicked Queen here serves the purpose of keeping you alive long enough so that you don't have to worry about it. Because otherwise you will die really quickly and you'll have to restart over and over again. And it takes time uh, to come back into a fight. And so doing this will actually save you time overall. Now pay attention to what I did here too. So another thing to actually uh, make sure that I can do my fights quickly is creating a power gem, which in this case is a blue power gem that I've created in the society over here. So notice how it did not get overridden uh, when I used my uh, two copies of my, my Hell and also my Soul Reaper. And that is the property that I had talked about a, of this uh, team composition. I talked about this in a, you know a while ago, where if there is an off affinity power gem on the board, normally it would not actually overwrite it. So if because of that, you can then use that as a, a way to stop the clock by doing a, um, you know, doing the power gem swap and then quickly move that gem uh, in any direction. When you do that, it will actually stop the clock. And so what this allows you to do then is get a lot more attacks in so that you can deal more damage. Now, this isn't a guarantee. So it doesn't actually uh, always happen. So you can see here, it does get overridden from time to time. And if it does, it's okay. Just uh, actually, um, you know, take the time to then uh, recreate a power gem when you can. You have two turns uh, to do this. And this video will actually show how I actually do this in two fights. So I'm not able to actually deal enough damage to take out in one uh, one single shot and so what you have to also pay attention to is how much time has actually elapsed in real time and so you do need to think about how much time is left and then you do have to quit out of the match earlier sometimes so that you can go back in the reason you want to do that is because um, when you enter a fight and if it's a timed match, so this is a, another tip that you should know. When you enter a match that is timed, uh, you can actually go beyond the time when the boss will actually expire as long as you enter the, the fight beforehand. So what you'll see uh, pretty soon is I'm actually going to uh, let this attack go through and then I'm gonna quit out and come back in. So you can see what happens here afterwards. I actually quit the battle and there is still about a minute and a half remaining in the fight. But I know that I'll take more than a minute and a half. And so this is the reason why you want to do this is so that you can extend the fight clock a little bit longer so you technically get more than five minutes to do so. Now that I'm in my second match, I know that I can do this because I've already taken down more than half of the boss's health. Now I'll also take this opportunity to explain a little bit about this deck and how it actually works. So the ultimate form, the master collection card, and the uh, event card all have the same property. You can see that I dealt about 945 billion damage there and when I actually attack with my battle skill what it does is it'll take that damage and it'll reapply it at 100% and deal uh, and hit um, and hit the boss again but 
if you're using a three key attack, it will actually multiply that value by five. So let's assume, uh, let's just round it up to a, a trillion. What that means is when I deal the nuke damage back to the boss, I actually will hit it for another five trillion instead. And so you can just see how devastating this, uh, this team really is and how powerful it can be because you're essentially you know, uh, able to deal six times total of its damage each time if you have a single ultimate form there. And the, with the event card, what it does is it will actually apply the damage at uh, 50%. And so you can think about it as it will actually take the take its own damage and then multiply it by 2.5 because you're you know um, it's it's five times bonus but then you're only dealing 50 percent and so if you have multiple of these cards you can deal a lot more than you know two to three times of their damage and that's how you can really uh, take down the boss here and the other thing is it's a really quick deck so you can see how many attacks I've been able to actually uh, get in here because it will recharge every two turns and hell and soul reaper actually has a three turn cooldown and so overall I just need to do two two quick matches in between and then I can then continue to activate my battle skills and then uh, you know deal sufficient damage and we have three trillion damage remaining and this is going to be the last hit before I take down the boss and you know I've at this point taken more than five minutes of the actual game, uh, time but I was able to continue fighting until I take it down and it does have a lot of trophies at uh, over one trillion trophies at level 14. And that's all for today's episode. Now, I understand that this isn't a deck that most people will have, uh, and I certainly got lucky with my rune pulls as well as gifts in order to get the car, uh, get the cards this time. But I did experiment uh, quite a bit and also had to play around with the mechanics in order to get to this level here. And so I just wanted to share that with everybody. So thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for your time. And I'll see you in the next episode where we talk about the previews for the upcoming events. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time. Take care.